So the video I'm bringing to you guys today is going to be on an artist from Oregon, well, a rapper from Oregon that uh, seems to uh, always get his name brought up in the conversation, but not for not for the best of reasons. Um, I definitely pay close attention to what's happening in Oregon when it comes to the hip hop scene, mainly because I'm fucking friends with everyone that's in it. So I always see shit pop up on my Facebook and well, this dude will pop up here and there, not him directly, but people talking about him because he's usually always dogging on other Oregon artists. Um, I like to see this guy and his little group as like the group that is like super hated on in Oregon. Like, you know, like you, you have like the group of Oregon that has like super talented individuals that all kind of support each other, respect each other, work together and are usually, um, at the, at the same shows, they're usually attending the same shows and, you know, performing there and whatnot. And it's just like the, the big main group in your local area that's kind of always associated with each other in some kind of way, simply because they all make hip hop music. But then you got that, that outside group, you know, that everyone gets fucking annoyed by because they just sit there and talk shit about everyone in, in the main group. that's like highly respected and has done a lot of work and done a lot of big things in their area you know these guys are the are that group sitting over on the side from what i have observed that's what this group is um there is one guy in this group who's always been super nice and and i fuck with him and um and that's that's andrew i'm not sure why he's a part of this group um but I mean, I, there could be a multi, like a multitude of reasons why I just, I just, I just don't know. Um, because <laughs> these two guys right here are kind of the most shit on Oregon hip hop artists. And I'm not saying like, don't fuck with people to get shit on and whatnot, you know, like that's not what I'm saying, but I just think it's a bad look to be associated with these guys for, for the most part. Um, and yeah, like, okay, well, let's, let's look at, at the first thing that you read when you come to Whitey. Oh yeah. His name's Whitey, by the way, which there's already another artist named Whitey, but that's why his is Whitey NW, Whitey Northwest. There is another artist bigger than him that goes by Whitey. So good luck with that, my guy. Um, anyways, it says Whitey NW, Whitey Northwest does not give a fuck what you think. If you don't like it, fuck you. <laughs> if you don't like Whitey, fuck you. <laughs> you really get the the vibe of why this guy gets hated on so much. If you do happen to like this trash that he calls music and the garbage content posted, best of luck to you in your future. Whatever the fuck that means. If that's not the greatest hello warm welcome that I've ever seen, man oh man. Yeah, that really, really lures people in. There, there are people in here that like this page that I'm kind of surprised gave this guy a freaking like. It's weird. It's just super weird, bro. You know, he's part of this group called Fuck Music, <laughs> which is has this other guy that him and I have had our little spats in the past, which I mean, I don't I don't got a problem with him anymore. Like, I could really give a fuck less. This is. I could give a fuck less about what these guys are doing. I don't pay attention to it. If you're grinding out there doing your thing, then by all means, awesome. Much respect to you. Do your thing. Um, I just don't really care that much anymore. This just makes for a good video because it's interesting as hell, to say the least. And, you know, you, you scroll down. Hold on. Let me get to this video. That I saw floating around a while ago. This guy, Whitey, Whitey Northwest. Sorry, because Whitey's actually somebody else. He's not Whitey. Um, let's watch this. This got so many people shitting on him because it was so dumb. But at the same time, 
he got people talking about him. It's like publicity stunts. You know what I'm saying? You do something, whether it's good or bad, and it gets people talking. You gain exposure from it. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways. But it's not the greatest exposure, is what I'm saying. It's not the best way to go about things. You can't just hate on everyone all the fucking time. I mean, I guess you can just troll on everyone all the time. But, I mean, you're not going to gain your respect like that. Anyways, let's watch this real quick. Here we are. The fucking goddamn bunker. What do we got here? Let's dig in here. Hmm. I am Jay, a.k.a. I am gay. You know, okay. Here's the funny part. I know I am Jay. That's Jonathan Stahl's word. And he always blocks me on Facebook. He'll, like, friend me again, then block me again. It, it's very weird and super annoying. Um, I don't know. It, Interesting character. I've known him for a long ass time, though. Thought he was a good homie, but he always does the shady shit and blocks me, and it's just fucking weird. But this, I mean, it's funny that he thinks this guy, you know, that Jonathan is worth mentioning. You know, like, I don't know what this is going to do for him. Jonathan does attend a lot of events and do a lot of shows, though. But I just don't know what this is doing for him other than giving Jonathan more exposure. He spelled his name wrong too, by the way. It's I am J, just J alone, not J A Y. It's a L on that, my guy. Hey, I am gay. Trash. Broke dick fucking cock sucks. Trash. You can tell that he really has a lot of hate for a lot of hate for the dudes from Born Broke Die Famous. Born what what do you say? What do you call them? Broke dick fucking cock sucks. <laughs> Bro, these guys have put in more work and done so much more shit than you have, respectfully. Okay? So much more, bro. They put out better content, better videos, better music, better everything. And that's probably why he's sitting here hate him, hating on him. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of just, like, being a dope dude and showing love and respect and just being a part of the scene like everyone else, he has to be a fucking cringe fest. Crap. I've heard that name before. Solpuna. Trash. Ooh. <laughs> you want to know what's even more funny is this guy sat there and took the time out of his day to do all this. Bro, you went out of your way. So far out of your way. To do all this. Like you... Great job. Great job, my guy. For all these people sucking so bad, you really wanted to get their names out there. Cody Nash. We all know who he is. Trash. Here's another one. Dopey. Trash. Fucking garbage. All trash. I got a bunch of fucking trash here. You filled up three garbage bags of names of artists that you think are trash just to go out there and take them all out, unfold them, and read them off and give them publicity to call them trash. And this guy's on a whole new level of fucking okay. This is the Oregon rap scene right here. Tra you are in the Oregon rap scene, my guy. The only difference is you're not helping it grow. You're sitting there hating on everyone else that has respect respectfully done a fuck ton more than you have on way bigger levels than you have. It's just funny that he that he did this, bro. And this was, oh yeah, this was back in March. So, I mean, it it's a little little bit ago. But it was just super funny to see. Trash. Trash. Fucking. Oh my gosh. All of you guys that do dope things for my state are trash. Oh, you hate on me? Fuck you. Fuck you. You sound like a weird version of Dr. Evil, my guy. A big old pile of fucking flaming trash. Fuck music, bitch. Oh, oh my god. Did not just go. Rah. You did not just. Oh, so original. Rah. Oh, rah. Come on, man. Don't you think that's a little over the fucking no, top? Not. This fucking rap scene's over the fucking top. I'm tired of it. Jesus Christ. Fucking sick of this shit. What a waste of time. <laughs> what a
what a waste of time. We gotta look at the comments though. Like for real, what what a waste of fucking time. Such a waste of time. Oh damn, I commented on there. Sheesh. <laughs> she is angry. There's Whitey putting his music in there. And there's Packard. Whitey Northwest. Ah, oh, makes sense you work with this guy. Yep. No one fucking likes this guy, I'm telling you. Now, however you say his name. Markin, Marson, what I don't fucking know, dude, but it's annoying. Oh my god, really went this far out of his way to hate on other people. Dude moved on from me, myself, and Irene and became a gun-toting hair braided suburban thug. <laughs> oh my gosh. This. You could really be skillful and really work and practice your craft and invest in your craft, but it's gonna take you longer to get there because you're so dope. Or you can be a cornball and do gimmicks, diss people, be controversial, do a gang of features, yep. and try to take shortcuts. No matter how you do it. Long road because even when you take shortcuts, it don't last that long. So now you're gonna have to figure out how to do another gimmick and another gimmick. Yeah, another gimmick. You're gonna keep doing gimmicks your whole career that people are never gonna know that you were a good artist. Yep, because all your whole career is about gimmicks. Yep, if you take the longer route and just be skillful, that day will come. Facts, dude. This guy is all fucking gimmicks. Then, uh, Ryan Adams. This guy's dope. Dope artist from Born Broke, Die Famous. Uh, says, appreciate, shout out, LOL. Hashtag BBDF. Born Broke, Die Famous. Then, Ryan, glad you appreciate the humor. But humor? If that's your version of humor, bro, you really gotta, gotta do some studying on what the fuck humor is. He better rap. He better rap doing all this. Like, for real, for real. Let's hear some music. I promise you don't want to hear it. <laughs> and all he ever says is, it's fine. It's fine. Sounds like a suburban suburban thing to say. It's fine. And Ashley Iverson. Looks like clout chasing. I mean, shook them rappers up, I'm sure. <laughs> they really hurt over this one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know who this is. Never seen butt hurt in such a pure form. <laughs> and this dude, fucking, he's like, I know, lol, they all mad. You're talking about you, my dude. Yeah, see, I was talking about the guy who took the time to get his hair did up, write all their names on paper, make up silly names for each, light the papers and plastic on fire, sure. Stare at the fire till it was almost gone, then waste ammo on shooting it a few times Finally, post and finally post a video. And doing all this is one of the worst artists to ever come out of Oregon, but without the introspection to realize it. Honestly, 10 out of 10 a comedy special. Wouldn't watch again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude's got more views on this video than all of his music and his whole discography combined. This huge win for him. Oh, I'm gonna let him have his moment of glory. At least someone from the scene is doing something. That dude ain't fucking doing anything. What are you talking about? I'd rather be doing nothing than playing pretend in Cali. For real. Yeah, it's more cool to pretend in Oregon. You're <laughs> so stupid. It's so dumb, dude. Yeah, anyways. Look. To each his own. Do your thing. I'm just not a huge fan of the whole, like, hating on the whole scene out there and whatnot you know this dude gets a lot of backlash back for wasting his time doing stuff like that the amount of energy that he put into doing that he could have put all that energy into like you know doing something a lot more productive for the scene in oregon if you think it's so bad help make it better you know so it's just really interesting man and it's it just amazes me that some people really actually take this route and think that it's working out in the best way for them when all in all, everyone is thinking you're corny and not liking you. And it's just, yeah, 
I don't know. It, it's just too much, man. It's too much. It does make you look horny. <laughs> it is entertaining, though. He definitely uh, makes, uh, you know, the comment section very entertaining. I'm not going to lie, even though it's not working out in his favor. I think it's still super entertaining. I like reading that shit. I like seeing all the people that come to talk shit to him when he's sitting there talking shit about them. He's like the freaking 6 9 of Oregon, dude. The only thing left that he has to do is snitch on someone. If you liked the video, leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on this? Go check this guy out. Let me know what you think about him. Let's get the convo going about this shit because it's super interesting and weird and just annoying and cringe at the same time, but also very entertaining. And yeah, if you're seeing this on Facebook, be sure to follow me. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. I really appreciate being here.